In this video, we're gonna make simple syrup for our cakes. Hi, it's Carolyn. If you wanna learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes, then I'd love for you to join me by hitting subscribe and the bell. I've had a lot of people ask me recently how to make simple syrup. And I say syrup, who says syrup? Syrup, why does syrup annoy me? It's probably, oh, I just spit. <laughs> I use simple syrup on my cake layers to help keep them moist. And listen, we have to, we have to let moist be an acceptable word. Can we all say it together without feeling weird? Moist. It, I think it's the ST together. <laughs> but we're gonna keep the layers moist and let's get into the video. Simple syrup is a one-to-one -one ratio of granulated sugar and regular water. So what do I mean by one to one ratio? It's equal amounts. So if you have one cup, this is one cup of sugar, I have one cup of water. Two cups of sugar, two cups of water. Three cups of sugar, three cups of water. So you know, however, however much you wanna make, just make sure that it's an equal amount. So I have one cup of sugar I'm gonna add to the pan. And this is just regular water, uh, room temperature, water, cold, hot, it doesn't matter. And pour that in there. I'm gonna put this on high and you have to keep your eye on it. And this is optional. If you see my channel, you know I love me some Wilton Clear Vanilla. And I'm like that Frank's hot sauce lady. I put that S on everything. <laughs> I put it on everything. So I just want a little bloop in there. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I do it. I just feel like a little vanilla in the simple syrup couldn't hurt. It doesn't um, change the the flavoring of your cakes or anything. It doesn't hurt to have it in there. You can omit that if you want. And what I wanna do is just stir until the sugar is dissolved. And now I wanna keep an eye on it. And then I'm gonna heat it just till it comes to a boil and then I will remove it from the burner. All right, now you can see that it is just starting to come to a boil. That is perfect. So I don't want to keep it boiling too long because if you start boiling sugar, then it's going to turn into candy and we don't want that. <laughs> so let's turn this off and then I'm going to remove it from the burner. And I want to let it cool. So I let it cool for, I don't know, about an hour or so without a lid on. And then I'll just take a lid. This lid has these little holes on the side and this has a little spout. I love this little thing. <laughs> Um, it makes it so much easier to pour into whatever you need it. But anyway, after it cools for an hour and there's not a lot of steam, then I'll put this on so it can still um, aerate. <laughs> Is that the right word? Whatever. You know, or I'll leave it on like that for a little while. But anyway, I want it to cool before I put it, pour it in the spray bottle. So there you go. How easy was that? The one-to-one -one ratio, bring it to a boil, let it cool, and we can use it to uh, spray on our cakes. Now, I have seen a lot of people pour it on, and I feel like pouring it on there is a little much. It might make it too moist, and look, I said it, I said it without feeling weird. <laughs> um, I feel like pouring it on makes it too moist, and it's a little too much. So what I like to do, once it has cooled, I just put it in a spray bottle and put the spray not on the stream where it's one line, like when it's on the nice spray, and spray it on the layers. I'll, I'll put in some B-roll. But you can see that I spray both sides of my layers before I fill the cakes. So usually most of my cakes are four layers each, and I'll spray both sides and then fill with icing rinse and repeat basically <laughs> just keep doing the same thing i don't like to overspray. um it, it, you just have to find a happy medium don't drench it because i had somebody before complain she showed me a picture i put way too much simple syrup on it and the stinking cake was like really wet and it looked gross and i felt horrible <laughs> so a couple sprays you know just just getting a light mist over the whole thing so how do i store this so i keep this in this spray bottle here and these are actually my mom's, but these are little glass water bottles. And I once, once it cools, I will pour it in here and then I can easily pour this into the spray bottle when I need it. But to store it, I would just keep it in the refrigerator and it could last, I think I would say no longer than a month. 
um, and then you could just make more. It's so simple to use if you don't, or so simple to make if you don't use it. And you can also feed it to hummingbirds, I guess, if, uh, if you don't use it all. <laughs> you just might have to dilute it with a little more water. So I think that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And you can follow me on my socials and I have my website. And everything is linked in the description below as well. And if you want to stick around, you can watch these two videos next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, it's cake. It's moist. <laughs> have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.